Hello dear friends, welcome in Pharmaceutical Chemistry to Laboratory. Myself, Mrs. Urmila Ravindra Gaudi, MPharm in Quality Assurance. Today we are going to deal with identification test, experiment number 19. Title of the experiment, to perform and report identification test on the given sample of promethazine hydrochloride as per Indian Pharmacopoeia. Learning Objectives After watching this video, student will able to learn intellectual skill that means to understand the concept of experiment, to analyze and interpret the observation. Motor skill, ability to write systemic analytical report, ability to handle equipment, take and record observation and ability to refer standard literature and Indian pharmacopoeia. Now let's start with concept. Proposition first, organoleptic description. It is the information in respect of nature, odor and taste of the drug. Proposition 2. Solubility. Statement of the solubility are indicated by the descriptive term and are intended to apply at 20 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. This is the table which indicates the meaning of term used in the statement of approximate solubility. Depending upon description term, it shows the approximate volume of the solvent in milliliter per gram of solvent. Then proposition 3, identification test. These are the tests to verify that the article being examined is in accordance with the label on the container. Failure of an article taken from the label container to meet the requirement of prescribed identification test indicated that the article may be mislabeled or substituted. These tests are not necessarily sufficient to establish absolute proof of identity. Proposition 4. Pharmaceutical Category Pharmaceutical category of the drug deals with its pharmaceutical and medicinal uses like antibacterial. Now, general concept structure. First, we have to perform description of the drug. After that, solubility in the different solvent. Then, identification test as per IP. And after performing identification we got whether the sample complies or does not complies the test as per Indian pharmacopoeia. Apparatus, glassware, thalse tube, test tube and capillary and the chemicals are alcohol, chloroform, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, ether, potassium dichromate and diphenyl carbazide solution. Now let's move towards laboratory for the actual practical. Dear friends, in our pharmaceutical chemistry to laboratory, today we are going to deal with identification test for given organic sample of promethazine hydrochloride as per Indian pharmacopoeia. Now, let's start with stepwise procedure. This is our promethazine hydrochloride sample. It is white color, crystalline powder and it is almost odorless. Now, let's start with solubility test. We have to perform solubility in different solvent. For that, we have to take sample approximately 0.1 to 0.2 gram. Then add water and check the solubility. In water it is First of all, shake it properly and then check the solubility. In water, it is very slightly soluble. Now, check the solubility in chloroform. For that, take sample and add chloroform. Check it properly and then check the solubility. In chloroform, it is freely soluble. Now check the solubility in ethanol. Check it properly. Promethazine hydrochloride is freely soluble in ethanol. 
now perform the solubility into ether take sample and add ether solvent ether and then check the solubility whether it is soluble or insoluble in ether in ether it is practically insoluble now let's start with identification test so first procedure for this test a dissolve approximately 0.1 gram of sample into 3 ml of water for that we have to take sample and add 3 ml of water then add 1 ml of nitric acid drop by drop we have to add then white precipitate is produced after addition of nitric acid precipitate is produced which is readily to give dissolve readily to give red color solution after addition of dilute nitric acid after 2 minutes it becomes orange yellow orange yellow is colored precipitate we have to heat and after boiling observe the changes in the pipet slightly it get converted into orange orange red precipitate now it is become converted into orange red precipitate now test b take sample approximately 0.1 gram and add 0.2 gram of potassium dichromate which is already weighed and into this we have to add 1 ml of sulfuric acid immediately we have to place a filter paper which is moistened with diphenyl carboxide the filter paper becomes violet color turn it into violet color this is our end point test c test c is determination of melting point as previously in experiment number 2 we already discussed the step wise procedure for determination of melting point similarly i had done the practical and the determine the melting point for the promethazine hydrochloride the melting point of promethazine hydrochloride is 222 degrees celsius now let's start with result for today's practical we performing today description test solubility test both are complied by as per ip then identification test test a b and c three all of the, uh, these three, three test are complied as per ip that means the given organic compound that means promethazine hydrochloride complies the 
taste A, B, C as per India pharmacopoeia. After performing the procedure, we got observation. Description: Nature is crystalline powder. Color: white to yellowish white. Odor: odorless. That means given sample complies the test as per IP. Then solubility: In water, it is very soluble. In alcohol, freely soluble. In chloroform, freely soluble. In ether, practically insoluble. That means as per IP, it complies the test. Then identification test. Test A gives orange red precipitate. Test B the filter paper turns violet red. And test C melting point is two twenty two degrees Celsius. That means it complies the test as per IP. Result: the given sample of promethazine hydrochloride complies the test A B C for identification test as per IP. This is the structure of promethazine hydrochloride. and the category is histamine h receptor antagonist anti emetic drug thank you dear student for attending this session